Well, the sports news on tonight's news hour. Here's John. Thank you, Tony. So to take a more positive approach to the Canucks, horrendous streak of 24 games with no wins versus Edmonton. That's 22 losses and two ties. Let me suggest they've got one win in their last 25. The man who got it in goal for them, however, won't have his status clarified until GM Pat Quinn returns home tomorrow. He's going to try one last shot tonight at trading Richard Berdur before having to send him to the minors. Pittsburgh did that today with Pat Riggins, so count the Penguins out. Thanks to the emergence of Frank Peter Angelo with Joe Maloche backing up. A player move was made in our town today, though, as Edmonton sent left winger Scott Metcalf to Buffalo for defenseman Steve Dykstra. Glenn Sather's most recent significant deal, though, was dealing with Minnesota. He was discerned in a hurry that Mo Mantha is a clubhouse lawyer and a cancer is the last thing Edmonton needs in their room. Thinking he'd died and gone to heaven, ex-Montreal Canadian Keith Acton went to the Norris Division from the basement to the league's penthouse. Not only has Sater told him to become more offensive-minded than with the North Stars, Acton has the added bonus of real rivalries to enjoy. I'm a competitive person and I like to compete and to be on a winning team, a, a team that's, that has a chance, as I mentioned, to win a Stanley Cup is exciting and it gets your blood flowing and uh, you, you look forward to every day. Is this like Montreal relive? Yeah, it's, it's funny you mention that. A lot of people have discussed that and I can draw a lot of parallels and between uh, to, between uh, Edmonton and Montreal. I don't think Edmonton has copied them. They're unique in their own way, but there certainly is a lot of similarity. Oilers here tonight, 7.30 on CKNW, while Quebec is down in L.A. And the games in progress include the Habs losing 1-0 in Jersey in the second, the Islanders in Toronto, a 3-3 tie in the second, and Washington has blown a 3-0 lead, but they're up by one game, 4-3 in the third against the Rangers. 